Hi and welcome to Bhagya Technologies QA Complete pa Career Package Training Orientation. Now this is a new initiative that is coming up from the Bhagya Technologies side and uh, as the name indicates this is like a complete career package for a QA course. Now in the next in the sequence of this video that is in the next few minutes we will take a look at what this program is uh, what are its constituent elements and of course I'll introduce myself formally in a little bit um, and then we will talk about what this course is all about. Um, as I was saying, the agenda to this uh, demonstration is to give you an introduction to the course, uh, talk about the faculty, the course structure, the detailed curriculum and the beautiful features that we have incorporated into this program that we know for sure are going to be beneficial to its participants. Now this is a QA course. Before we say anything else about this, this is a QA course. Now what sets this QA course apart from everything else that's in the market? That's the question that we want to focus on. Now this QA complete package, um, this is focused on results. So this is result oriented. What, if, what we mean by that is we don't want to like you know teach you QA because it's not a pastime. Nobody learns QA just because they want to. Every time when we attempt to learn QA it's because we want to make a career out of it. It's because we want to try it as an option um, to find a job and be successful in there. So this is a course that focuses and targets that area. So we are very proud to say that this course is like no other in the market in terms of you know uh, usually when people undergo the QA course they'll have to learn or you know they'll have to go through other courses as well to master all the you know um, skills that are mandatory to be successful in the QA field but this course is unlike that this course is just your only course you'll have to do to be successful as a QA. I'll take you through it in a, in a little bit um, but the way we have designed this course um, is that we've started at a basic level. Uh, we've incorporated every single topic that we thought would have a lot of use value practically in your job and then we've moved on to the most advanced concepts. Um, there are many many you know um, you know there, there are many cool features in this program a uh, lot of technologies a uh, lot of tools a lot of techniques that are incorporated in it and we'll see that so this is a 30 hour course so this is like um, a complete package now 30 hours might seem like uh, it is too less but then 30 hours is like you know the live interaction that you would have with your instructor, me. Uh, the rest of the time, of course, you would have a project that you would work on and that is offline. So the live teacher-led time that you're looking at is 30 hours and this is uh, for a period of five weeks. So we have four days a week, uh, an hour and a half a day. Uh, for five weeks, so totally 30 hours is uh, the duration of this course. Now there are no prerequisites to this because IT, IT is a really, you know, wonderful field, very much, um, you know, pretty much uh, every day some new innovation happens. It's, it's a very exciting field to be in. And there are many aspirants of IT, uh, aspirants who want to get into IT and make a career for themselves. And for us being in the QA field for so long, we have noticed that QA is one of the preferred fields to enter into IT and there are a lot of misconceptions that IT is not technical or IT is not you know difficult none of that is true but um, QA is something that is uh, excellent to be a beginner field because uh, QA is mostly focusing on what the user would see and in real times we are all users so QA being successful as a QA has a lot to do with the user perspective which we all already have and with QA you can actually you know set the level of uh, technicality that you want to get into your career. Of course when you become a part of this program we'll talk about all that but QA is definitely a preferred choice and if you are here chances are that you've already made up your mind to pursue QA. Um, so again this will this is completely focused on launching your career. Now these classes are completely conducted by me so unlike other courses where you know somebody else makes the curriculum, somebody else teaches it, somebody else coordinates it, um, that kind of uh, culture is not something that we participate. I mean that, that that's not the culture we practice at Bhagya Tech. Um, 
we are a group of QAs who are very passionate about the field, who have excellent experience here, uh, and we have created this course starting from the curriculum, timings, everything is something that we have uh, created as a group. So. Uh, I am someone who has been in, a, a part of incorporating the curriculum as well and I will be imparting the training as well. Uh, so there is not a lot of disconnect at all here. Again, I am Vidya Parlapalle. I have 10 years of experience as a QA and uh, I've been teaching for about three years like you know actively I mean I've been participating in a lot of webinars sort of situations uh, beforehand but actively practicing QA teaching for about three years now and um, I probably would have trained about more than 300 students. Um, now coming to the curriculum, this is end-to-end -end QA concepts. So we start from the beginning trying to understand the entire software development life cycle. Now here we have incorporated both waterfall and agile because um, as you all know waterfall is the more traditional, more you know um, process oriented method while agile is more fast paced, rapid, very much current to the current market situations. Uh, then we move on to talking about the testing life cycle. Now here you might be wondering why is there SQL, why is there Jira, why is Unix? Um, that is something that I want to talk about for the next few minutes. So we all know that software applications have three tiers like you know there is a client layer which is the user interface which you and I use to interact with the system so for example gmail.com so there is that page which we use to interact with the system now then there is a backend the database to which all the data that you are in inputting into the system goes and the data that you want to retrieve comes from so between the database and the application there are servers who will cater to uh, things being up and running. So both the client and the database. So basically you are looking at three layers. There's the user interface, there's the middle layer, and then there is the backend. Now most of the QA courses are focused on the front-end testing, UI-based testing. So while that's great, I mean, as a QA, you should definitely be able to work with the user interface because the real-time users work with the user interface. So learning how to test via a user interface is very important, no doubt about it. However, there is also those two elements, the backend and the middle layer. Now usually middle layers are either Linux or Unix systems uh, because, you know, they are kind of application servers. They are faster, more secure, and, you know, they do not have a user interface because of which it makes them very, very light, cheap, and affordable, maintainable by companies. So you're looking at uh, a UI layer, uh, a middle layer, which is either Unix, Linux, or, you know, uh, a certain flavor of Unix, and then there is the backend, which is the database. So a tester is you know, um, a tester can only uh, achieve the completeness in testing when we test the application end-to-end -end, from the front-end all the way to the back-end uh, via the middle layer. So to talk to the front-end, we don't need any special language. We can actually, you know, click on buttons and all that. So, um, but then there is a special approach to testing it, which is basically, you know, the software development, testing life cycles, and all of those concepts. Uh, but when it comes to the database, to talk to a database, which is actually a physical entity, you would need to learn the language to communicate with that, which is the structured query language or the SQL. And in between that, there is the Linux systems. Uh, so you will also need to know a little bit about the Unix systems, like, you know, what kind of commands you'll have to use uh, to find the respective files. Usually Unix systems will have, you know, stopping and starting servers, uh, checking the logs, all of those things. So that is why we have end-to-end -end testing encouraged in this program. So I know the topics look like, you know, just development, testing, lifecycle, and all that, but you know, uh, for detailed step-by-step -step topics on uh, what we are covering in this, you might want to visit the website. Uh, but then the development process, I mean, not necessarily the coding process, but how the development happens, who are the people involved, all of that is dealt with in detail for both waterfall and agile models. Then the life cycle of planning, designing, testing, everything end-to-end -end is covered. Then SQL is covered, uh, Unix is covered. I'll talk about Jira in a little bit. But before we go any further, I want to really set the expectations on the extent of SQL and Unix that we will be learning. Now, it's very important to remember that 
first and foremost we are QAs. We need to learn how to test. So SQL and Unix are, are you know, good to have skills. Definitely skills that will, you know, give you the, that extra benefit from an otherwise, you know, front-end tester. Um, but having said that, the extent of this course, you, we will cover just the basics. Enough information that would give you a jump start because Every job is a learning curve. You cannot go into a job by learning everything there is to learn about it and then go to a job. That's not practical. Uh, so we would give you enough basic, you know, foundation for you to build on. So that is the extent of preparation. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning that is do not expect to be a SQL or Unix expert by the end of this session. You will learn as much as it is necessary to be a successful career, uh, QA, um, to be a successful QA and to jumpstart your career. Now coming to Jira, why did we incorporate Jira? As I said, this is a curriculum that is, you know, closely uh, created by a group of, you know, very experienced QS. Um, so the reason why we have incorporated Jira is because most companies, um, you know, most employees in most companies, most associates, they work from different locations, different time zones. Uh, so how do you, how do companies make sure that they have the most up-to-date status and the most up-to-date, uh, you know, um, work and, you know, how is it going and where are we at at a given point of time? How, how do you think this uh, transparency is achieved um, for companies? It is with the help of work management software and Jira is actually one of the most popular work management softwares that are out there. Uh, so we thought it is will it will be a very very beneficial experience for for us to introduce you to a work experience, work management software. So we have chosen Jira because it's very popular in the IT field, and Jira supports the defect management process excellently. So that's why we have Jira as well. Now, if you're wondering uh, how how uh, I mean, if I learn Jira and what if the other you know client or an employee employer they use a different Tool. And that's likely, I will not deny that, because um, there are like a million tools in the world. It's not practical. I mean, it's we, we cannot even if we want to learn all the tools that are out there. But then, all the tools that belong to a certain category, they all have similar features. Like, for example, if you're using Amazon.com and eBay.com, you'll be easily able to buy something from Amazon or eBay, uh, even though they're two different, you know, tools, you know, e-commerce tools that you have on hand. The same logic applies for Jira as well. Once you're proficient with one work management software, learning the other one or using the other one isn't going to be that difficult. Now, at the end of it, as we said, this is a very, very career-oriented program. So we would uh, uh, offer the resume and interview help. Uh, so resume help in the sense you we will... Um, uh, give you a guidelines on uh, how you can create your resume, some tips and tricks to make this process, you know, work for you. And then we would review your resumes and get back to you with the comments. Uh, but please do not uh, expect us to create a resume and then, you know, um, give it to you. That's not what we encourage. Uh, we want our participants and the students to be in complete control of the entire resume creation process. Now, we also have a live project work uh, in parallel. So, the, way, the reason why we have incorporated this is uh, we want to have, uh, we want to, uh, you know, we want to uh, encourage the culture of uh, applying the theoretical concepts that we learn in the class as soon as possible. So along the same lines, every day's class will be followed by an assignment and this assignment will be done on a live application that we will provide to you in the class. So every day, if, if for example in the class we are talking about writing test cases, you would write test cases on the live project and uh, the instructor, me, I would review your work and provide you comments. Of course, there's email uh, support. You can ask as many questions as you'd like in the live class and also via emails. So uh, we also provide you recorded videos for easy reference. Um, now. We want to be very clear that, you know, uh, if you miss a class, that class will not be recorded, not 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 something like that. Uh, but we would have, you know, a set of reference videos. Uh, so in case you you might want to, like, take a look at them, in case you've missed a class or something, you can. But every day's class is not recorded. That's something I want to clarify very, very uh, well ahead of time. Um, for the exact time, for the exact fees and the batch schedules, uh, please get in touch with our coordination team uh, or, you know, leave your number and they'll get back to you. Or please visit bagyatech.com for more information. 
And we really, really hope that, you know, this course, um, I mean, you, you're able to see the benefit of this course because this is like, uh, again, I'm, I repeat myself, this is like your one-stop shop. Uh, you will not really have to take any other courses. Um, you will be in a very, very, very well-structured mentorship kind of a model where you get to hone your skills and be the best uh, that you could be in the IT field, ITQA field specifically. So all the very best. Uh, following this uh, orientation, we would also have a demo where we would talk about a particular topic. So you can make a decision on, you know, you can actually, you know, understand how the class is going to be and whether or not you like the interaction with the instructor. So that sort of stuff. So please, um, following this video, please take a look at that as well. And if there is any questions that you have, please let us know. Uh, we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And we hope to see you all enrolled in the class. Thank you so much.